What's up guys and welcome to this online tutorial. We are going over uh, question 11 which has to do with probability of the 2018 uh, math exam. Okay, so basically it says consider the word circle. Um, the repeated letters are treated as identical. If two letters are selected at random with art replacement, determine the probability. Okay, so Basically, what we need to consider is consider this like you have these, um, let's say, marbles or something with these letters in them and they're in a bag and you're just picking out a letter at a time and you're not repeating them. So once you've picked it out, so you, you're not replacing them. So once you've picked out a letter, so let's say you pick out an R, you can't replace that now. Okay, so it says <clears throat> determine the probability that both letters are a C. Okay, so let's um, see what we can do. Okay, so question 11. Okay, so let's think about this, right? So we want the probability that we get both Cs, okay? So in the first round, we have one, two, three, four, five, six options, and there are two Cs, okay? So we have two over six chances of getting a, a C in the first one, right? So then let's say we pick out the C, so now this letter is gone because we're not replacing it, right? So now we only have five options and we only have one C left. So we multiply that by one over five, okay? And if we multiply that out, we get the answer as one over 15. So the probability of getting both Cs is one over 15. Um, and that was question A1. So question A2 says only one letter is a C. Okay, so once again, let's say we have all six letters. So the probability that we only one C, right? So the probability that we get only, let's write that out actually. Okay, so the probability is now we have one, two, three, four, five, six options. And the f so the probability that we get a C on the first one is two over six. Okay, so we've taken a C. Right, but now for the second one, we don't want a C. So we want the non Cs, which is one, two, three, four, and there are only five options, four over five. Okay, but now there's another option. So that is when we pick the C on the first go. But when we pick the C on the second go, with our first time, we don't pick a C. So we have um, four over six probability of not picking a C times the probability that we pick a C. So now one letter's gone. And we have two C's and there's five options. So times two over five. Okay, and if we add those together, we get a value of eight over 15. Okay, so to run through that one quickly. So basically what we said is, this is if we pick a C on the first go, and this is if we pick a C on the second go. Okay, so that's really the hardest part of this um, question, just understanding what they're actually asking for. If we look at question B, it says determine the number of six letter arrangements that can be made with the letters. Okay, so we have, um, okay, so if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, so for the first one, we have six chances, then five, then four, then on, 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 right? So we have six factorial chances or six factorial, um, let's say, options, okay? But remember, there's two C's that are repeated and we treat them as identical. So we have to divide this by two factorial because there are two C's. If we had, let's say, two C's and two I's, you would then multiply this by two I's as well. Because remember, if we switch these C's around, we can't really know if we picked um, C, let's say, one or C2 first. So we have to divide by that two factorial. Again, if we plug that into our calculator, that becomes 360. Okay, so that's the number of arrangements that we have. Um, it's very important that we note that um, it's the number of arrangements and not a probability. Okay, determine how many word arrangements can be made if the letters start and end with the same letter. Okay, so we have six options, right? So if it starts and ends with the first letter, it has to start with C and has to end with C because those are the only repeat letters we have. So in between here, we can have I, R, C, or E. So we can have five, uh, sorry, four options here, three options here, two options here. So 
what is that that is just 4 factorial okay so i hope that makes sense so we don't consider this these two c's are fixed in place and we can only mess with the so there's one more here it should be one two three four five six so a c there and then one here um, so we can only mess with the order inside here and we can mess with it four factorial times which is equal to 24 arrangements so just out of curiosity if we wanted to convert this to a probability so the probability that the two c's are um, at the outer ends of the word word we would just say that that's 24 factorial over uh, sorry 4 factorial over 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial so that's the total number of arrangements that can be made and that's the problem what we're looking for so you divide them and that would be 24 over 360 okay but that's not what we're looking for that is just an example but yeah quite a simple question um, once you understand the mechanics behind it so for this question you just needed to note so note divide by repeats repeat factorial and for this one we just need a two fix position of the seeds. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all that there is to this question, quite a short question. So I hope you guys found this useful and thanks for watching.